Hello everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I have The Sims 4 loaded up here, and I thought it would be kind of a neat idea to have a Sim Sunday kind of series on this channel, where on Sunday we do some kind of Sims related content, whether that's, you know, Let's Play, A Current Household, Speed Build, Sims Challenge, whatever it may be. Um, because Sunday is a pretty chill day, and Sims is a pretty chill game, so I thought why not put the two together and make it a regular thing. So, I'm going to show you today the current household that I have been playing with lately, and having a lot of fun with. Uh, we'll go through their traits, their characteristics, a little bit of their backstory, um, and just kind of introduce you to them and show you where they live and maybe do a little bit of gameplay as well. Um, so before I get into it, I just want to point out this lovely lady right here. Um, just kind of remember her, because she, uh, she might seem familiar in a hot second here. So this is the original sim I started this household with. This is Gail Reeves. Um, he is, or has the bodybuilder aspiration, rather. Uh, the home turf trait, which means that he is happiest when he's at home. He is a geek, he is paranoid, this is the new trait that came with Strangerville, and he is self-assured, so he's a very confident, kind of nerdy sim. Um, he also happens to be in the new military career, um, that is the new career that came with Strangerville as well, and he's worked his way up the ranks in the military career quite a bit, I think he's level 7 in the military career? I'm not really sure, I can't remember. But I started playing with this guy. And then through the Strangerville story mission kind of set up, he met this lovely lady. Now, she might be familiar. She is one of the towny sims that came with the Strangerville game pack as well. And these two kind of met through that storyline. Now I won't give any spoilers away like I said, but that's how these two met and they fell in love and started a family. Um, but she is, or she has the big happy family aspiration, which means she is domestic. Uh, she is neat, family oriented, and art lover, so she's very family centric this one, but she does have a little bit of a creative streak in her as well and we'll get into that. Um, because she is actually in the freelancer career, which is a new career that was just patched into the game here recently, and it has three different branches. Um, there's freelance writer, freelance programmer, and freelance artist, and she is a freelance artist. Um, and we'll obviously go into more details with that a little bit later and show a little bit of that off, but that's what she does for a living, which works really well because she has three children at home. So she's able to kind of balance work with the kids, which is very handy because we have twin boys, and the first twin boy, his name is Emilio, he is a rambunctious scamp, and he loves the outdoors. So he's very active, very outdoorsy, uh, very much takes after his father in the kind of active uh, trait line. Uh, and he has a twin brother named Lincoln. Now I don't know how them being twins, they, one ended up with brown hair and one ended up with red hair, but it's fine. We'll just, we'll just leave it. Now he is a social butterfly and outgoing, so he very much wants to make lots of friends and know lots of people. Um, he's very good at social interaction. Can't relate. Um, and he's adorable. Look at him. He's adorable. I have an idea for what he's going to do as he gets older, as I do with all of these children sims here. I have a plan for all of them. But he is very adorable, him and his brother both, and they actually have a baby sister. Uh, now she just aged up into a toddler, this is Fallon, and she is a charmer. Naturally, I mean look at this little face, of course she's a charmer, look how adorable she is. And last but not least we have Cajun. Now Cajun is the family dog, he is a Chesapeake Bay Retriever. He is adventurous, smart, and playful, and he actually just aged up into an elder dog. So he's not a young spry dog anymore. He is now an elder dog, and he's very loyal, very loving. He loves to go on walks and loves to play. He's very good with the kids, which is obviously essential, and he is a very, very equal part 
of the family as anyone else is. So that is the household. So why don't we get into a little bit of gameplay here. I'll show the house that they live in and we can kind of mess around and see see what happens with this little family. So this is where my sims live and this world is Strangerville. Now this is the most recent addition to the Sims 4 as far as the worlds go. Now I don't know if you know any of the Strangerville storyline at all. Um, I won't give any spoilers away because maybe we'll do that in a different video series or something. Um, I have already played through it once um, and there's tons of YouTube videos out there of uh, Simmers who have shown the main storyline for this new world, so feel free to check those out. I won't get into it right now. Um, but it does tie into our sims a little bit, so I will explain that part of it at least. Um, but my sims live right up here on this little high mountain area. This is their house. So we will go and load them up. So here we are at the house. Um, I built this house. I found a picture on Google of a style of house that I was kind of interested in building and this is what it turned out like. And if you'd like to see what the original photo of the house is, I will leave it linked in the description box just in case you're curious. But this is what the house looks like. Just a simple little like one story. Obviously there's things out back for the kids to do. Um, nothing too fancy, but it works. I like it. It's very functional. Um, but let's take a peek inside and see what the family is doing. So, oh, flat, flat walls. No, this is our, this is our nanny right here. Uh, I had a nanny come in for the day. We might have to dismiss them though now that the adults are awake. Um, but they had a rough night last night. Um, <laughs> these two lovely people, Gail and his soon-to-be wife, Alice, got engaged last night, went out for a nice dinner, had a nice romantic evening, got engaged, and the night quickly, quickly devolved into chaos as we had a sim at the restaurant they were dining at die. Now, I don't know if you know anything about The Sims, but when you're on a public lot and a Sim dies on the lot, your Sims can't leave the lot until the whole death interaction is complete. So, and it takes a while. It's a long process. The Grim Reaper comes, he takes the soul, the body becomes an urn, and it's a whole thing. So, they were there for a long time. They were starting to run low on energy. Poor Gail here got food poisoning from the restaurant on top of everything and had a little accident because in the chaos of the whole death going on, I wasn't paying attention and he may or may not have went to the toilet all over himself in the middle of the restaurant and then proceeded to run to the bathroom and vomit from food poisoning. And poor Alice was not uh, excused from any kind of mishap. She, when they finally could leave the lot and go home at 6 a.m., uh, she was so exhausted that she passed out on the sidewalk. And so they had a pretty rough night. Not the, not the greatest engagement story. Um, something fun to tell their grandchildren later on down the line about how they got engaged and but yeah, so it was, uh, it was quite a, quite an event. So they came home really early in the morning, uh, and I had them sleep, and I had them hire a nanny just to look after our little, uh, toddler Fallon over here while they could catch up on some sleep. Um, but now that they're up and well rested, I think we can let him go. And, uh, Gail here is very sad, and I'm not sure why. Mourning from witnessing the death of a loved one. Oh, this is from the actual. Okay, so this is the the sim from the sim that died at the restaurant, which is weird because I didn't realize that he actually knew that sim. I didn't think he did, but oh well, I guess he's sad regardless. Um, but it's a nice Saturday afternoon here. Uh, looks like the weather is nice and warm and sunny, so we should really be outside. And oh my God, why are you so filthy? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we need to get 
we need to give the dog a bath. Um, he is absolutely filthy. Um, you're sad, but you need to come finish eating this. So let's do that. Um, you're also eating. What are you doing? You're just chilling, I guess. Okay, well, I guess you can, like, watch some TV or something. What are you doing? You're talking to the nanny. Let's just dismiss. Can we dismiss you? Yeah, let's dismiss you. You don't need to be here anymore. We're fine. And little Fallon over here. Oh my goodness, sweetie, you need a nap, and we need to potty train you, so. And our laundry machine is broken? Oh my god, there's so much. Okay, we need to do some things here. Um, I need you, Gail, to come and potty train Fallon before she goes for a nap, because she will just end up using her diaper, and we don't want that. We want her to be potty trained, obviously. No, don't chat with him, he's gone. Yes, you can chat with your son. It's fine. <laughs> um, you're gonna come outside, and since you're an outdoorsy kind of kid, you're gonna swing on the swings. Why not? Actually, you. No watching cartoons. You also go swing on the swings. Go swing with your brother. Oh, she's not feeling good. What's going on here? Oh, she's all sad too. No! Oh, here's the engaged moodlet, and she she loves she loves cleaning. Also, she very much loves having a nice, tidy house. So she is very happy right now. Obviously, she has a reason to be. She is engaged to the love of her life. Who wouldn't be happy about that? Um, come clean up these dishes, though. And then you potty train her, please. Where's the dog? Oh, I was gonna give him a bath, but he's having an old dog nap. Um, he's gonna come potty train her. These two are swinging. Why don't you come push him on the swing? Can you do that? Yeah, you can. No. I wanted you to push him on the swing. Can you not do that? Yes, you can. How do you do that? <laughs> Has to swing. Okay, well. You're fine. I see the laundry is uh filthy that's cool okay oh actually this is a good time to show off uh what her career is so if you go to the career tab down here you can see it says freelance artist and you have to pick a gig and this is the um i guess company or whatever you want to call it that she works with electrified artist so you select a gig and it pops up like a little list of different things you can do so it's the title, how much you'll make, when it's due by, and the necessary uh, painting skill you need to do it. And she is quite talented, but all of these are really low paying. That's really, except for this one, but we can't do it because her painting skill isn't high enough. So that's a shame. So maybe we'll do this one, loading screen splash art. Triple A game studio seeking a paintbrush revolutionary whose creations will help distract players from excessive loading times in an upcoming title. How you ask? By crafting the most entrancing loading screen art the game industry has ever seen. If you can stay strong in the face of withering online critiques, this may be the perfect gig for you. So we're just going to go ahead and pick that, and obviously now you can see that it popped up with what the gig is, when it's due, and these are the tasks that she has to do in order to complete it. So the first thing she needs to do is chat with a client, and the way to do that is to go over to the little laptop over here, go to the freelancer tab, and hit chat with client. And she'll just mosey over there, have a chat with the client, and see what the client wants. And then when that's done, I will show you the next part of it, which is actually pretty interesting, and I think it's a cool little addition to, um, to the game career-wise. Um, but Gail over here is potty training, little Fallon. Um, and anytime you have a parent sim help a toddler with a skill, the toddler will actually gain the skill a little bit faster than they would than uh, faster than they would if the toddler was doing the activity themselves. So this bar would be gaining quite a bit more slowly if she had been doing this herself. So obviously you learn faster when you have help from a parent, right? Right, makes sense. Um, what are you do- oh god, he's nauseous. Oh no. Okay, I guess we're gonna just- um, shared potty time, I suppose, I guess. Uh, that's neat. 
<laughs> All right. You're very sad. What are you doing? You just want to... You're going to come cry. No, don't cry. I swear you didn't even... Did he even know that Sim? You didn't even know her. You didn't even know her. Why do you care? You're such a weird Sim. Okay, well, crying will make these go down a lot faster, I guess. So that's... Okay. You also need to go to the washroom soon. Oh, she needs a nap real bad. Okay. Uh, let's... Her room is over here, so let's... Let's just go have a little nap real quick. Oh, look at you! <gasps> I didn't even tell you to take the garbage out and you took it out! You're such a good son. You're such a good son. Oh. <laughs> um... Alright, Cajun, uh, we're just gonna, I guess, come clean this up. <laughs> oh, she, like, glitched. Oh! He's <gasps> he's cleaning that up, too! Lincoln! Oh, you're such a good son. Look at you go. Wow. Can we, like, can we praise him for that? There's gotta be something we could do, right? Parenting. Encourage recent behavior. Encourage throwing out the trash. Mm, what is going on? I heard you became friends with Rashid Al Arabi. God, I hope I didn't butcher that name. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, he's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I he's a he's a nanny. So like, I don't know. He seemed like a cool dude. He was good with the kids, I suppose. Um, I need you to not do that, first of all. I need you to clean the lint tray and repair that because it's broken and we can't do laundry without it. And these two, do they have homework? They do? Oh, they're done. Okay, perfect. Even better. You're having a nap. You're... Why are you having a nap? Go use the toilet, please. Okay, so she is done with the chatting with the client. So you can see that we got a nice little check mark and sometimes there is a moodlet that goes with it, but I guess this time there isn't. So the next thing she's supposed to do is create splash art on a sketch pad. Use the digitalistic sketch pad to create splash art for submission to the client located under the freelancer category. So if we go into her inventory, she's got this lovely little artist uh, digital sketch pad. You click freelancer and go to splash art and she will there we go she pulls out this tablet and you can see it's got like a little art program on there and it actually shows the the actual painting she's working on right here like it's not like just a generic image this will actually be the finished product which is really cool um, so we're gonna let her do that it's gonna take a little bit here um, you're still fixing that which is good but we're gonna have to do the laundry and you have to give your dog a bath because god damn it he's filthy why do people keep phoning you? I heard that you got engaged. Congratulations. I'm so excited for you and Alice. Okay, so this is the other, another friend of theirs that Gail met um, around the time that he had met Alice. And he's a good family friend, uh, despite the fact that he's a little um, eccentric and um, just a little, just little different. Um, but he's a cool dude. They're friends. And he just wanted to throw us a text message and say congrats, which is really sweet. And he is very filthy and needs some fun, so maybe we'll play some video games. Oh, he's done. Okay, look for parts. Kick it! Don't kick it! What kind of example to set for your children is that? Kick garbage around. Now who's texting? Hey, I heard you became friends with Rashid Al-Arabi. He's pretty cool. Again, hope I did not butcher that name. Um, but yeah. He's, uh, he's a cool dude, I guess. Let's throw this away. Oh, the laundry's filthy. Okay. Well, we gotta take the laundry out now. Why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping? It's 20 after 6! Dude! <laughs> I mean, it, you, you, I guess if you're tired... It's not really bedtime, but okay. What are you doing? You're just over here grooving. Oh, she finished the um she finished the painting. So this is what it looks like. I wonder if I could find <laughs> 
a chunk of wall space to put this on. Oh, the T is spoiled. That's not good. Okay. Uh, oh, right here, maybe. Maybe we can put it right here. Yeah, okay. See what I mean? What she was drawing on the sketchpad, this is actually what it is. So it shows the normal quality worth 80 bucks. And I think she paid 75 so woohoo, $5 profit if we were to sell it. But we can't sell it. We have to send a client for approval because that is the next step. We have to get it approved. And there is always a slim chance that they will not approve it and she will have to uh, make changes to it and send it again. And please stop dancing. Are you gonna... Nope, see, there we go. This work doesn't meet our quality standards. Learn to read. It needs to be edited before you attempt to submit it again. Paintings can be edited on the digitalistic sketchpad. Books can be edited on the computer. Oh god, I don't know where she put the... Oh, I don't know where she put the sketchpad. And why did you leave this here? Don't just leave this here, it's stinky. Add it to the washing machine. Gross. Gross. You nasty. <laughs> uh, we'll find her sketch pad in a second here. Uh, wash the laundry, please. And then go take a shower because you're sad and gross. Okay, we have to find <laughs> where she put the... Oh, Fallon's finna have a freak out. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, where did she put it? Oh, no. No! Where did she put the sketch pad? Oh man. I don't see it. Am I dumb? Why? Why can't you just put it back in your inventory? Oh, she put it outside! <gasps> Why would you leave it outside? What if it rained? Good god! Okay. Oh, she's so tired, but she's also really hungry. Okay, come get her food before we get her taken away. Give her food. Give her... Give her peas. Because every kid loves peas, right? Uh, yeah. And <sighs> Well, we know why you were filthy. Ew, you're so stinky. You have flies. No. Oh, you need to give this poor thing a bath. Give Cajun a bath when you're done that. Oh my god, these two are both in bed. Okay. Oh dear god. Alright, well, you uh, have fun with that. Oh my god, he's so filthy. Give her a drink too. Give her, give her some milk. Every little kid loves milk. Mm -hmm. Make sure you feed the dog too. Okay, so while that's happening... Um, anyways, back to her job. Um, so to edit that... A uh, piece of artwork. We have to go to edit rejected content, splash art, and she will work on it again. You'll see her, see she has it already up on the tablet, and then she just kind of fixes it and edits it and makes it a bit better, and then she'll send it back to her the client for the approval, and if they approve it, she gets paid. Um, so that's how that works. Why are you- <gasps> No! I thought you were sleeping. No. Okay, so stop doing that real quick. You need to stop walking. Uh, parenting, discipline, firm. Tell not to make a mess. And can we tell him to clean up? You should be able to tell him to clean up. Parenting. Uh, influence to clean up the mess, please. Oh my god. What did you do? Oh. Okay, I guess she's gonna fall asleep in the high chair. Okay, go put her to bed. Put Fallon to bed quickly before she has a meltdown. Oh my god, that chair is filthy now, too. Yeah, you. Go clean this up. How dare you? Oh, the laundry's done. Okay, and you're still bathing the dog. Damn boy. 
And then we can, I guess... Pristine down. Okay, we'll go put that in the dryer. Yay, the dog is clean! Woo! He'll find a way to get messy again in no time. He always does. And dry the laundry. Oh my god, I know you're sad, but it's fine. Play a game. Play My Sims Racing. You need some cheering up. Hey, are you up for grabbing a drink? I could really use a change of scene and a heart-to-heart. -heart. Lounge or could it go-go? You know, I would, but... Um, our daughter just aged up into a toddler. Things are kind of devolving into chaos a little bit, trying to get some stuff under control. Uh, so, another time. Thanks for the invite, but uh, another time. We have things to do here. Um, so, now that things are somewhat under control. Oh, she's gonna clean up. Is she gonna clean up? Yeah, she's gonna clean up. Okay, cool. Now your fun is going up, which is good. You should probably go to bed because it's around nine. Go to sleep. And Oh, she's sick, I think. What is going on? Like you again? Something crazy is going down at the ruins. Want to check it out? No. <laughs> I literally just said no. Change of venue and event does not change the answer, sir. I got. Oh, I knew I heard something. <laughs> oh, for the love of God! You know what? We're just gonna hire a repair service and get someone else to come and fix that, cause. Whatever. Oh, and she's gonna... <sighs> she's getting filthy, too. We just wanna... Did she finish it? It's not done yet? Where did she put the sketch pad now? Why is it morphed into these rocks? Who puts a digital sketch pad under a pile of rocks? Ma'am! You're leaving it outside, you're leaving it under rocks. This is why we can't have nice things. Come on, man. Ugh. Alright, well. Call the repair guy. And I guess come use this tub. Um, since we can't use that shower, since it's broken. And your fun is up, so I guess you can just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Do it. Survived food poisoning. Okay, so he still does have this mood lit. So this is what he got after the whole food poisoning incident. Surviving the storm was difficult, but now the stomach is stronger than ever before. What an ordeal. Alright. So she's having a bath, he's asleep. Everyone's asleep except for Alice over here, who is having a nice, lovely bath. Ooh, that dude. Did you see how he was walking? He had, like, the total, like, flirty walk thing happening. He is feeling himself. Let's see. Will he do it again? Yeah, I know there's a puddle on the floor. That's what happens when plumbing breaks sometimes, sir. You should know that. Are we gonna do the walk? I wanna see the walk. Oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, swing them hips. Thanks for fixing my stuff. <laughs> see you later. And she is still having a nice bath. Okay, well, she can put the laundry away. Oh, there goes the Roomba. This is one of my favorite items in the game, is the Roomba. Especially if you have a cat, something pretty funny happens sometimes with the Roomba and the cat. Clean the lint tray. Mop up this puddle, and then you can go to bed. Tomorrow is Sunday. So it should be another pretty chill day. Um, Gale doesn't work on Sundays, I don't believe anyways. No, he does not, so we'll have a nice chill little family day. Maybe we'll actually take them off of this lot and go explore the world a little bit. But we'll see what happens. Uh, no, don't go outside and mop puddles outside. I know that's exactly where you're going. Go to sleep. It's late. Go to sleep. But we're going to leave that here. Uh, for now, guys, let me know what you think and if you have any ideas for what you want to see in the future. Please don't hesitate. Let me know. And thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.